Ok, guys, we're here today with Mika Galvão, huge honor for me. Guys, Mika is the, if you guys are following the Jiu-Jitsu scene, he's the new guy come up. He's 17 years old, black belt. He's winning everything, gi, no gi. Just not too long ago, he stayed 40 days here in the US and he competed in seven different tournaments. And uh, he's probably like one of the toughest kids that I ever saw. And it's really, really impressive how good is his English and how well he teaches Jiu-Jitsu. So for a 17 years old kid, if you guys see him teaching, you guys will be really, really impressed. And he just shot an instruction all about arm attacks. And he's probably like the most dangerous person nowadays for arm attacks. So super excited for to learn from you, Mika. Uh, so the one we're gonna learn today, it's I think one of my favorite arm attacks, which is the mirror lock from Close Guard. So starting here on Close Guard, okay. I think many people know that uh, to do an arm attack from uh, for a close guard on Nogi, it's kind of hard because it's kind of like slippery and like the guy's always trying to escape. So I think mirror lock's one of the best ones because you don't actually need a real like lock on the uh, on the arm. You just like tw you're just like twisting his elbow there, and it makes it very easy for you to submit a person. Okay, so. Right here, I just want to post his hand on the floor, the first thing, which I'm just going to slide inside and then post his hand on the floor. Then I'm going for his head. Why? Because the moment that I go for his head, he's going to need to posture up. And the thing he does, you see, he uses both hands on the floor. So the moment he does this, I'm going for his arm. And then I can catch. From here, one thing that I see uh, some people do, they try to lock the arm as tight as possible. But the thing is, when you're on no gi, like with a short sleeve or when you're wet, like kind of sweat, the arm slides very easily to the outside. If he tries to remove the arm, it slides very easily. So the thing that I like to do to trap the arm here, it's I lock my elbow as tight as possible to my rib here. And now it's gonna be a kind of hard to remove the arm yep. and also to prevent even a little uh to make it a little uh a little harder for him to remove the arm what i do i use my other hand here on the head here he cannot posture up and he cannot remove the arm now i can start doing my mirror lock from here okay for uh for the mirror lock i need to create some space and i need to create some angle that's i think uh some of the important details that i show on my instructional about arm attacks if I don't have the leverage, if I don't have the, the space, the angle to do it, I'm not gonna be able to do the, 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 the arm attack. So first thing I do, my you see my leg here, I'm going to post it on the on the on the on the hip, and then I'm gonna do a hip scape here to create a little space. And then now I can start working on the arm. Of course I can do the regular arm bar here. I can just stretch myself and pop the arm from here, or I can just pass my leg here over and press against uh, his elbow doing the, the the arm attack but I normally like to do the mirror walk because the mirror walk the guy think he's going to escape what I do now I just release a little bit of pressure as soon as I release the pressure he's going to remove the arm uh, here he showed a situation that he's trying to twist the arm to the other side which it leads to the normal pata I show it to you but the moment he's trying to remove here like this I'm going to do the, the, the mirror lock. I need to use this moment here to get a mirror lock because then from here I can twist his elbow to the inside. Look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stick my arm to the inside, twisting the elbow here a little more. Oh man, that's incredible. And then here I'm gonna create a lock. Why I'm gonna create a lock? The moment I use my other hand here to help me, uh, I have a lock and the, the submission here. For him to remove the arm, what he needs to do? He needs to stretch the arm and then remove it. Look. So put your arm, your He no, no, so put your arm. He stretch the arm and then he pull it up. That's how you do it. But if he cannot stretch the arm from here from the mirror lock, if he can't stretch, how he's gonna remove the arm? His hand here is trapped under my my, my armpit, putting the pressure. So for here, it's, it's really hard for him to remove the arm. Now. To help me uh, submit my opponent, what I'm gonna do, you see my bottom leg here that's on his rib, I'm going to use it to pull my hip, and then at the same time, I use the pressure on my armpit here, on his hand, to apply a little pressure on his shoulder and on his elbow. And here, he's gonna be tapping. And super tight, super, super tight. 
And I love it how you have the whole sequence here. So even if I pull my arm like this, then it yeah. goes to the whole platter, right? Because like, I was falling for here, right? So as I said before, if you twist the arm here, I'm gonna do the whole plata, which I, got it. I bring the leg, then I go for the whole yeah. plata. If you twist the arm to the other side and start removing, then I'm going then to do the mirror lock, lock, which is the one I just twist the elbow to the inside. And from here, I can go for the got submission. It. And there's also a few more uh, positions, but you, you guys gotta get to the illustration to see it, which is like when the guy starts escaping a little more and then I go with the, 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 the leg attacks and the stuff using more like the, the upper body here. But this, the, the simple thing here is that you gotta get the exactly moment that his elbow is passing on top of my forearm here. If I lose this time, I'm gonna lose the arm. So you gotta be aware. The moment his elbow touch the, the forearm, you're going inside here. Boom. And as soon as you adjust, the guy's not gonna be able to escape because he needs to stretch and remove. But his hand here is strapped and his elbow is strapped too. Now I just slide my hip to the inside and then he's gonna be tapping here. Man, that's amazing, Rika. And the, every time I watch you competing, you, I mean, like many positions, many people fight for positions. Yeah. You always fight for the submission. Like you, you are always looking for the submission. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and and I can see this whole sequence here. Like in one move, you show like three different ways to get a submission. Like going to the Moplata, going to the mirror lock, going to the regular armbar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So guys, this is like the most dangerous guy nowadays so man, make sure to check check it out he made his entire structure all about arm attacks you guys can see how well he teaches he's not only the tough athlete he's also a great instructor great english so make sure to check that out it's going to be at bjjfanatics.com and maybe by the time you're watching it's already there so thanks so much thanks thank, you. Much, thank you please help me out to grow my youtube channel just click subscribe and to watch more videos just click under see more videos I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.